As a network admin, one of the challenges when installing a new firewall is that we have to change the broadcast domain. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look at this topology for example. Now, let's assume that we don't have this device here for now. Okay, so let's just pretend that we don't have it. And let's suppose that these switches, they are layer 2 switches, are directly connected. Okay, and we are using the subnet 10.100.24 and this router is the default gateway on this subnet so it has the IP address 10.1.0.7 um, and let's just focus on this PC and this PC has the IP address 10.1.0.5 okay? and the default gateway for this PC or in this subnet is the router which means that all the traffic leaving the subnet is going towards the internet is going to follow this path towards this router. Now, if we have our requirement to install a firewall, what will we do? So how the topology would change? Well, the firewall is going to inspect the traffic, but the firewall also acts as a router. So which means that let's just bring this firewall here we probably would have to change the subnet. So probably just to uh, reduce the changes on the network, we would keep this side as the subnet 10100 slash 24 and probably the IP address assigned on this firewall on this interface 1 slash 1 uh, would be on this subnet and the other interface on the firewall would have to be on a different subnet. So probably the subnet 101 uh, zero probably 10 one one okay slash 24 which means that this router would have this IP address now in a small environment this is easy to do but in some segments the client or the customer might not want to change uh, the subnet and they still have the requirement to inspect the traffic on that specific segment so how can we install a firewall to inspect the traffic but without changing the subnet? Well, Palo Alto has a feature called a uh, virtual wire. So virtual wire is going to allow us to, let me remove these, okay and also this link so it will allow us to install this firewall okay between these switches and we won't have to change the subnet which means that the firewall is going to be in transparent mode so like no one knows that there is a firewall on the subnet or in this segment and the firewall will be able to inspect the traffic okay let me show you how to configure this Okay, let me clean this and let's go to this firewall. So recall that I have these two interfaces. So interface one slash one and one slash three. And so what do we want is to maintain the subnet and not assign any IP address at all to this firewall. So how do we do that? So first let's go to interfaces. So the interface one slash one is going to be my inside interface. Uh, so I'm going to change the interface type to virtual wire. And here assign interface to virtual wire. So we have to create a virtual wire interface. So it's more uh, configuration mode. So I'm going to call this as um, LAN. Uh, let's just call this virtual wire yep and just save this okay so LAN virtual wire so i'm going to also create a zone and let's call this as a virtual wire zone very intuitive let's save this okay so we have one interface interface one slash one as a virtual wire interface and we place this on this virtual wire zone now let's do the same for interface one slash three and we're going to change the interface type to be virtual wire 
and we're going to assign these to LAN virtual wire and we're going to use the same security zone just to allow traffic between or intra zone and we're going to save this okay the next step is to define what traffic we want to inspect do we want to uh, deny ICMP do we want to allow HTTP so let's go to policies and here we're going to add a new rule so we're going to name this as inspect LAN source we're going to use the virtual wire zone the destination is going to be the same so i'm just going to keep it very simple and we just want to allow any traffic uh, on this policy so just change make sure that the action is set to allow and let's confirm this now i didn't configure anything related to net whatsoever so we want the traffic to pass through the firewall without the firewall making any change at all okay so we only configure the interface configure the zone and we created this policy allowing traffic just going to pass through this firewall so last step is to commit the changes okay the changes were committed successfully so let's see if i have configured the ip address on this router so it should have the ip address 10107 so we can test from our clients and see if we can ping uh, 10107 and it's working i also enabled http service on the router so we should be able to navigate to 10107 yep it's working as well so just send some traffic there okay and it's working so now let's validate this on the firewall so if we go to monitor we should see some traffic there some hits and yeah definitely we can see that we have uh traffic hitting the virtual wire zone okay from the source ip address 10105 uh destination 10107 so that's the router and we can take a look at more details like it's hitting our rule inspect plan and so yeah that's coming from interface one slash one and going on interface one slash three so this is how we are able to install a palo alto firewall on an existing network without changing the network without changing the broadcast domain so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one